after tuning of the cultivar-specific and less conservative crop parameters in step 2, we are going to switch from calendar time into thermal time in the third part of this presentation. First, I have to explain you the concept of growing degree days. Crop development can be specified in calendars or in growing degree days. We can say that the time to reach maximum canopy cover covers 75 days. But you can express that also as thermal units and then we express it as growing degree days. For example, 1000 growing degree days. The heat units accumulated during the day, they are calculating by subtracting the base temperature from the average temperature. So growing degree days is average temperature minus T base. And T base is the temperature below which the crop development does not progress. It is a conservative crop parameters. If the average temperature is below base no heat units can be accumulated during that day and growing degree days is zero. Now in aqua crop we use also an upper threshold temperature that is the temperature above which crop developments no longer increase with an increase in air temperature. Let me show you for FOCHA the concept of growing degree days. In this menu you see the maximum temperature in light blue and the minimum temperature in dark blue. Aquacrop will calculate the average temperature, which is given here in red. Let's assume that we have a base temperature of 7 degrees. So for each day where the red line is below the white dotted line, you have no growing degree days. But for days in summer, where the red line is far above the white dotted line, you accumulate a lot of thermal units in that day. Here is plotted the growing degree days from the 1st of January till the 31st of December for the example of Foggia above. You see that in January, February, either you have no growing degree days or they are less than 5 growing degree days while in summer you easily have 15, maybe up to 20 growing degree days in one day. If you require 1000 degree days from planting till maximum canopy cover, it means that if you plant your crop on the 1st of January, it will take you to June 160 days before you reach maximum canopy cover. If you plant your crop in June, then maximum canopy cover is already reached after two months. If you plant it in August, it will take now nearly three months before maximum canopy cover is reached. So the idea of switching from calendar time to thermal time is to adjust the length and the duration of development stages to the temperature regimes of the distinctive years. So if you plant in another year or you plant at another day, the temperature regime during the crop cycle will be different and as such the length and the duration of the development stages will be different as well. By running aqua crop into thermal time, aqua crop will automatically adjust his calendar to the temperature regime of the year or the planting date. So the converting technique consists in selecting the climate file for the location and the crop file in the main menu. It is the climate in which the crop is growing. Secondly, in calendar mode, you tune the length of the various development stages. We know that it takes so much days to reach maximum canopy cover, beginning of senescence, time to physiological maturity, time to flowering and the duration of flowering. This is all expressed in calendar days. Now we are going to switch from calendar mode into growing degree mode.
in a previous example, I have tuned the crop calendar for tomatoes to the climate of Foggia. In the calendar tab sheet, I can see the length of the different growth stages which are expressed in days. Now I'm going to convert those days into growing degree days. This I do here in the tab sheet mode. The crop canopy development is now expressed in calendar days by selecting this radio button, growing degree days, my calendar days are automatically converted in growing degree days. Let's go back to the calendar. The calendar remains exactly the same. It requires 145 days to reach maturity. Aquacrop now expressed that in growing degree days which corresponds with 2006 growing degree days. Starting from now, since aquacrop is running in growing degree days, if I change the year or I change the planting date, aquacrop will consider the growing degree days and then calculate how many days are required. Let me show you that. So for the moment I have 145 days. If I plant earlier, for example, on the 1st of March, my crop still requires 2006 growing degree days, but instead of 145 days, now the time to reach maturity is now 170 days because March is colder than April. The same is true if I switch to a later planting date, for example the 1st of May, then only 131 days are required to get 2006 growing degree days. So let me put it back on the 1st of April and then I'm going to save my calibrated file. I click here on save as. So in this menu I specify the file name, for example Tom Cal for calibrated GDD to know that it is in growing degree days and then it is no longer the default tomato it is tomato calibrated for foggia in GDD. I save this and now I'm back in the main menu where I have a calibrated crop. Aquacrop displays that this crop file runs in growing degree days mode.